are still doing nothing but keeping you informed and entertained. And right about now, we're on the part of the show that we all love. It's called Sia Lala. Yes, for sure, Sia Lala. Lala, yes, yeah, right? Sia yeah, yeah. Lala. I always struggle every week, but sometimes, you know, Sinala give me points for that. But we're speaking all things sports, and we're also speaking to in individuals and organizations that brings change through sport. So we've got some great people in the building, but we'll chat to them very soon. We're first going to give you guys some great information. Yes, yes you all know, we give you nothing but good information. Mm. Well, the new Veloka Cycling Center opens. That is good news. Mm. Um, Veloka Life Cycling Academy, with support um, of the MTNSA Foundation, opened their um, state of the art ICT and Life Skills Center today. The center was officially opened by the Horn. Mm, and the center boasts a gym with spinning bikes, reception area, library, workshop for bike maintenance, change rooms, and a state-of-the-art computer room. As we can see in the pictures, looks awesome. Seeing seeing that change, brilliant stuff, man. Well brilliant. done to them. Also, it, they, it looks yeah beautiful. Looks beautiful. So welcome to XA. We've got some beautiful people in the building. Would you please just introduce yourselves and 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 tell us why you are here today? You can grab the mics. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Glenda Pontes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a retired teacher. Had to give up my love of um, early childhood education mm -hmm. due to a back injury. Mm -hmm. And I just wondered how I was going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, my husband plays bowls and I was dead against playing the game because I thought it was a game for old people. Mm -hmm. And uh, being involved with young people, I thought, no ways am I doing that. Okay. And um, until my little five-year-old granddaughter said, but I love the bowling club. Mm -hmm. And I wondered why she had seen something that I hadn't. Mm -hmm. um, when I started looking Looking at it, we, we saw the potential. Okay. And um, so I represent Goodwood Bowling Club. I'm also on the marketing and membership mm -hmm. committee now of Western Province Bowls. Mm -hmm. Um, very passionate about bringing awesome. the sport to schools and the youth. Awesome, Thanks. awesome. Yeah, can you please tell us who you are? Yeah, uh, the name is Anina Black, mm -hmm. and like uh, Glenda over there, very involved with uh, membership and mm -hmm. marketing. I stand on the Bowl South Africa mm -hmm. Committee, mm -hmm. Standing Committee for Membership and Marketing. Mm. And I'm also currently involved, or just got involved, with the Cape Town Sports uh, Council. Awesome. Ooh, awesome, Lovely. awesome. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us when was Goodwood um, Bowling established? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, an, it's been uh, one of the oldest clubs, 1963. Uh, wow! Which I can tell you was before my birthday. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> so yeah, it's been around a long time. And out of the 300 odd members that they had initially, we're dwindling down to 60 members. Yeah. And this is the reason why we're here, is to mm -hmm. prevent clubs from closing down. Mm -hmm. Closing, wow. yeah. Yeah, speaking of closing down, like what are some of the challenges that you guys maybe face, the club face during the, the, the upbringing of it? You know, most clubs in South Africa face uh, lots of things like mm -hmm. time constraints. Mm -hmm. They also have a situation that, um, you know, like let's take ladies. Mm -hmm. When they get married and they have children, mm -hmm. there is constraints on their lifestyle. Yeah. Um, so there is things like this that, that has an influence on how clubs can function mm -hmm. and how many people they can draw to a club. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I see, yeah. Not many people are informed about bowling. Would mm -hmm. you say someone can take this sort of sport as a career and make a living out of it? Mm -hmm. Um, absolutely. I think Anina would give you more information on that. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm doing at the moment, my portfolio is youth development and transformation. And instead of looking at um, this whole pyramid top down, we're going bottom up at let's look at a grassroots level. Let's introduce children to just have a love for the sport, get them involved. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure everybody here knows a family member that yeah, has played the game. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know. It's, oh. a, it's a family sport. Mm -hmm. But you know, to answer your question, um, there's definitely people that make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. We were talking earlier and I said, I remember actually seeing at Goodwood two uh, players mm -hmm. playing in the Atlantic Rim. Wow. They were from the UK. They were respectively 19 years old sure. and 21 years old. And I was going, wow, wouldn't that be wonderful to have mm. that in South Africa? Exactly. We've had our younger Springboks being already that age. Wow. So yes, the age is coming down in South Lovely. Africa. The youngsters is amazing. They love the sport sure. and they absolutely enjoy 
just being out there. It's beautiful to hear. Yeah. yeah. So please, can you tell? Can you tell us? Um, do you guys have um, catching clinics for the for the young yeah. people, maybe in the townships that want to be um, involved okay. in the sport? All right. I know we're running out of time, mm -hmm. so I just really <laughs> want to tell you about the 9th of, of June. This is exactly what we're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. We um, have a campaign and a workshop. The, where all the clubs in the Western Province are invited, mm -hmm. along with schools in our neighboring communities, yeah. um, to promote a partnership between schools and clubs, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, where we would train, and Bowls SA mm -hmm. have offered to train teachers yeah. as assistant coaches, mm -hmm. and they would take their enthusiasm to the children. Mm -hmm. um, so that certainly is the rollout. Mm -hmm. We've been going to schools and doing pamphlet drops mm -hmm. um, and involving them for Youth Day. Yeah. Youth Day is the 16th of June, so mm -hmm. we're doing a big rollout. All bowling clubs mm -hmm. are encouraged to have an, a bowls, a Youth Bowls Day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. So do you but think you I can join us? Yeah, but um, bowling mm -hmm. is not something big in our communities, yeah. right? right? Talking from experience. Yeah. What are you guys doing different to, to, to make sure that young people join mm -hmm. this sort of sports? Okay, we, we're obviously looking at what young people want. Yeah. This is, this is we're here just to initiate this process. We're wanting sponsorships, obviously, but we want it to be fun. Um, yeah. Nobody wants to come to a game that's boring with grumpy old people, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, sure, we want it to be fun. We want the, the kids there. We'll have music playing. We'll, we'll show them what it's about. There's a lot of life skills you can learn mm -hmm. through, bow yeah. through mm -hmm. a sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. And bowling is, is something you can play from 9 to 99. Um, it crosses, you know, all boundaries. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so please tell us, can you tell us some of the people that you're partnering with um, to make sure that the event that you just spoke about um, is a success? I think as far as the club is concerned, there's a lot of the, the people from the club that uh, had major input in mm -hmm. it. PK Print being one of them, uh, Western Province Bowls being mm -hmm. one of them. Mm -hmm. But I, I think right through on both South Africa level, um, you know, people like Warwick, who is one of our main sponsors, mm -hmm. we can't thank them enough for mm -hmm. being involved and actually sharing with stuff with us, mm -hmm. whether it's just a small input or a major input. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. of, of course, course yeah. of course. What do you think needs to be done in order for bowling as a sporting code to be recognized in our communities? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe a lot has been done and a lot mm. is in the pipeline yeah, so you can at the share, moment. Yeah. Share yeah. What you've done. Yeah. It's going to be, it's, uh, we've approached the Western Cape Education Department to have it um, recognized as a sporting code and mm -hmm. to be introduced in the schools. That's number one. Mm -hmm. um, so it is about rolling it out. It's, it's a, something we can take to the townships yeah. because all we need is our, our green mat and our bowls mm -hmm. to do that, yeah. mm -hmm. just to get that love of the game. Yes, of course. Okay, once they're enjoying it, they can understand of that course. there's competitive... And that and is why you're here also to explain. Yes. And yeah, you know, so if you understand better, you you want to be yeah. involved in it. Yeah, yeah. we're following yeah. following also Australian example, uh -huh. uh, bowls, um, world bowls, and yeah. bowls Australia, where this has been done mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. many years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I add to that um, that throughout South Africa, there's different programs, mm -hmm. and and obviously different districts. Um, look at stuff differently. Yeah. Or what works for one club yes. doesn't always yeah. work for another. So just in Cape Town already, there has been major work done in the Helderberg um, Basin, where mm -hmm. a lot of our youngsters started um, being introduced to mm -hmm. the sport. And they, uh, the coaches actually fetched them after school, mm -hmm. and they brought them to your club and actually took them home again. Wow. Yeah. And some of those youngsters are now state students at sure. various universities, and they still join us. And some of them is now under 25s, uh, yet they started at under 19 level. Mm. Yeah. And there's a lot done um, in different communities um, where they start uh, visiting a school mm -hmm. and, and playing on a rugby field or mm -hmm. playing on, it's a, start. on it's a surface yeah. that is accessible. That's a start, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing what you guys are doing. We wish you guys all of the best, yeah. Awesome Thank stuff, awesome. man. Great stuff. Thank you guys, so if you much. didn't know, you now guys are you informed. Know. You're informed about bowling. I mean, if you guys want to join them, you, you've got the details. <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. So right about now, we're going to take a quick ad break. Then after the ad break, we've got a cool poet in the building for you guys. So don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss that. Ever wonder why people do the things they do? Power is control over men who are lesser than you. You have been warned. 
You want to know what takes real courage? Blood. Bring a smile to your face. you like to do now? No one makes being bad look quite as good as these guys. Catch them all first on DSTV and feel every moment. Ah, Sanas, Sanas, yeah, Malume. Malume. Then you tell me, Sani. Malume. Where is it? Where is it? Left. Oh, Sani, it's behind you. Yeah. Ah, tiger. Get your hand, Malume. Get your hand. Ah, you can do better, I'm sorry. Ah, next time. Ah, what are you doing? You fell through. Yes, keep all my mixtape volume one, my load of mix, my all and oh, okay, wow, thanks, man. Ah, wait. Ah, just fifteen yana yana, just for the boys. Never. Mola nga mola. Hey, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, 